I do have a, a good news, uh, well, a somewhat good news story, good, good, good news on the way kind of story, uh, let's call it. Virginia is, uh, is on its way to get rid of, uh, getting rid of qualified immunity. Um, kind of a big deal. If you don't know what qualified immunity is, I did, I did address that in a, in a dispatch um, maybe a month or two ago, uh, kind of go, going into a little bit of the details of qualified immunity. And basically, qualified immunity is uh, is this. It means that cops can't be uh, tried in a in a civil rights lawsuit, um, and they have uh, sovereign immunity, um, you know, for for doing their job. They get to essentially, if they kill somebody, uh, and they can't go to trial for it. They get qualified immunity, and the Supreme Court, with liberal and conservative judges, have all voted for. And they've let go of a bunch of brutal cops, put them back on the street because of qualified immunity. So even, I mean, even if you, if you sit, here, sit there and tell me that I need to, you know, vote for Biden because Trump bad, Trump, 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 bad, 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 Trump, Trump, Trump. Um, is, there, is, is Joe Biden going to put somebody on... Uh, on the uh, Supreme Court that is going to get rid of qualified immunity? Fucking probably not. More of the same. Nothing's fundamentally going to change. But Virginia is uh, is on its way to get rid of it. Uh, the, there's a, a Democrat named Jeff Bourne. He wrote up a bill that uh, essentially I think he's he's trying to uh, adapt or circumvent the, the, the legal system and it basically denies uh, police officers that are, that are called into trial qualified immunity. That, that can't be a defense that, that, that can be used uh, especially when it involves murder, especially when it involves uh, violence brutality and, and you know basically all the shit that we've been seeing cops are doing to uh, people of color and, and protesters across this country. So, uh, well, good news. It's good news. Uh, I believe if I'm remembering the number, I forgot to note the number down, but it's 12 to 8 is what is is what it went through. So it's now got to go through the House and it's got to go through the Virginia Senate. Uh, and, and then they will, you know, it'll, it, it, it'll be done. It'll be a done deal. Um, so I hope that that happens. Uh, and, and there is some complications in terms of qualified immunity, right? So one of the things that this article talked about was, um, well, the, the legislation wants to make sure that we're upholding the Constitution. So if cops are brutalizing protesters, if cops are brutalizing you based on the color of your skin, uh, that is a constitutional violation, especially the protest thing. So it's a constitutional violation going after somebody's right to protest and uh, yeah uh, where this really comes from is the Ku Klux Klan Act of 1871 sounds terrible I know because when I read it I was like why did you just change the name of the fucking why does why did you keep it this way uh, but ironically despite the name of the fucking Legislation. What a terrible, dumb fucking name for the for. I mean, that's like if you had a cola company, if you had like a soda pop pump company, and you just and you just called it Diabetes to Drink, and it's like, okay, that's a bad. No one's buying this. No one's gonna care. That's a bad idea. And and like your logo is just like a dying pancreas. Like. Anyway. Uh, it's stated that the deprivation of rights, privileges, or immunity uh, shall basically been, uh, be, be uh, liable to uh, liable the party injured in an action by the law. Basically saying, like, if, if somebody takes away your rights, uh, the person that did that is going to get in trouble for doing it. They, they can't take away your, your rights. Those are, those are granted to you by the Constitution. Um, and it was against the KKK, not for the KKK, even though it really sounds like it's for the KKK. This was sort of like, this is sort of like inching at the civil rights. 
because there was still a battle going on for the 14th Amendment um, the, uh, at that point. And so they, black people still didn't have like civil rights. They were still getting brutalized and, and their rights weren't being recognized uh, even by the court to the point where like they they were being represented by federal troops like federal troops had to be called in to ensure that like slavery was going to actually end like plantation owners would would not continue to fucking have slaves like that's that's how crazy it got so you know we finally get to the civil rights era in 1967 with the civil rights act and that is i mean that's basically civil rights as law but even then we're not really give because because the counter to that is is something like qualified immunity so now that this is going to be denied it it sort of brings civil rights back to the forefront Rather than this bullshit law and order, you know, cops are above the law kind of shit. Like, it's not a Steven Seagal movie. Like, fuck off. You you represent the law that you are a part of. You are not above the law. Clear distinction needs to be made there about law enforcement. Now, there are opponents of this bill... Um, that address that, you know, we're, we're, they're going to face problems with this because what if this, this thing gets in the way of cops doing their job? Which is, I mean, you know, so let's, def- what, what the, what is their job? Their, their job should be, should be to protect and serve the community. That's what it should be. Protect and serve the citizens of this country. But it, but it is not. They are there to protect the stuff of rich people and serve said rich people. That's what they're there for. That's, that's what they've always been there for. You know, they're, 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 these guys come from defunct fucking like slave patrol vigilante type people. They're... they're they're not here to protect and serve us. It's not what the cops were ever intended to do. Again, talked about. I, I, talk, I did a big in-depth video about the his, where the history of policing comes from, um, and how the how the safe patrols evolved uh, into modern policing. So it's not like their their job is. Not to protect and serve the people. So, this is not... What what is this going to get in the way of? Them getting in the fucking... Beating a protester? Good, I hope it gets in the way of that. Because we should completely rethink what the job of a police officer actually is. They, 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 this guy also points out that, uh, oh, what if they're fired for racism? What if they're, oh, what, 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 what if? Good. I fucking hope so. If you're a police officer and you're racist, then you have bias. You have implicit bias, which means that you're going to look at black people and brown people as more of criminals. And for brown people, it might be terrorists. So you're going to be even more aggressive towards them because your racist brain tells you that you're in danger. It's like, well, it's more complicated when, when you know, uh, cops are fired over racism. Fucking what? It shouldn't be. If Kinko's can figure it out, I feel like you guys should be able to figure it out no problem. Somebody's racist to Kinko's, you know, and gets fired. Good on Kinko's. But if somebody's racist as a police officer, they're, they're like, well, he's a good officer, you know, he does his job. That's all he was doing, he was doing his job. 
was his job to racially profile people of color and attack and brutalize them? Was that his job? Because it fucking shouldn't be. This is good. I, I, you know, I, I do hope that uh, they uh, deny qualify immunity. They revoke it, um, and and then it and then it makes itself, you know, goes through on on a federal level too. I want it to go on a um, on a federal level. I'd like to see this uh, be be put into place on a federal level. Um, so I'm going to try to keep a close eye on the story and, and uh, uh, come back with updates when there are updates with this. So uh, stay tuned on, on, on the, old, the old channel for, for, all these, uh, for all these fun updates. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure you like it. Please make sure you share it. And please make sure you are subscribed to this channel, whether you're watching this on the YouTubes, whether you're watching this on Facebook or uh, or Rockfin, which is the cryptocurrency blockchain platform. It's ad-free, and make sure that content creators get paid for the content that they want to make. It's completely uncensored. Whether you're on any of these channels, make sure that you are subscribed and following me for uh, all new video updates. There are uh, videos uh, put up on this channel on a weekly basis, anywhere from four to six videos every single week. Uh, they include uh, news commentary. They include sociopolitical com comedy commentary, uh, rants, uh, current event stuff, interviews, stand-up comedy clips, there's a ton of stuff that's available on this channel. Uh, and if you want to come see one of my live virtual stand-up comedy shows called the Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Show, you can grab tickets directly off my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, while you're there, you can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets to these shows uh, uh, and a bunch of cool other uh, bonus stand-up comedy clips uh, while you're at it. And uh, you, or you can make a one-time donation as well uh, if, if that is something that, that you would like to do, if the sustaining membership is something that you can do. I know we're in tough times right now, uh, but if you can, that'd be awesome. If not, that's cool too. But the big thing to do is make sure that you are liking it, you are sharing this, and you are subscribed to the channel. Till next time, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the road.